Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. We throw around the word mercy a lot in everyday life, um, but a lot of the time we don't really know what the definition of mercy is. Um, so the definition of mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. So in this beatitude, Jesus is asking us to show forgiveness to people that we don't necessarily need to show forgiveness to by the world's standards. Maybe it's justified to harvest bitter towards them or to punish them for what they did to us. Um, so when we look at the character of God in Jesus' life, we see that they are rich and overflowing with mercy. In 2 Corinthians 1.3, says that God is the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. And in Ephesians 2, 4 through 7, we see that God is rich in mercy and he showed his abundance of kindness and mercy in Christ Jesus, who gave himself up and sacrificed himself by dying on the cross for us. He defeated death and rose again so that we could have eternal life and freedom from our sin and um, have a relationship with him. So after experiencing the mercy from God that is shown to us through Jesus, we um, people who are sinful and that don't deserve the kindness of God, yet he is rich in mercy and shows his kindness to us and has an abundance of love and forgiveness and mercy towards us, our hearts should want to do the same thing for others in response to what he's done for us. So th this is a way showing mercy that people can experience the love of Jesus through you um, by showing them forgiveness when they don't necessarily deserve it. So our culture tells us to cut out people in our life that aren't serving us and they, we're also encouraged to burn bridges and to cut all ties with people who have wronged us. Um, but Jesus is telling us to do the exact opposite. He's telling us to show mercy to these people, to build those brig bridges back up that have been damaged rather than burning them down and walking away and wiping our hands clean and giving up on people because he didn't give up on us. Um, we are to seek reconciliation and we should pursue um, showing mercy to people in every sense of the word. So we should be bringing these hurts that people have harmed us. We should be bringing those hurts to the feet of Jesus and showing kindness and forgiveness to those people. Um, because only through the perfecter and creator of mercy living in us by the Spirit can sinful people like us show mercy to others. And we can trust that mercy will be shown to us. That's a promise that when we're merciful um, and when we're responding to this great mercy that God has shown us, um, these mercies will continue to be shown to us. Um, so if we have responded to the great mercy that God has given us, then we will be people um, that show empathy and mercy to others. Um, I love the verse in Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Um, these verses say, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So some questions that I would love for us to process through this week, and we would love to see um, how God is working in you and through you, um, through the Beatitudes and processing these questions. What is a practical way that you can show mercy to someone this week? And who have you been unforgiving and unmerciful to that you need to show forgiveness to? Matthew 5, 7 says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. We're going to look at the song, Run to the Father by Cody Carnes. This song for me has been a super sweet reminder of the Lord's mercy in my life and how He's always pursuing me even when I don't realize it. My favorite part of the song is the second verse where it says, You saw my condition, had a plan from the start. Your son for redemption, the price for my heart. Sometimes I think it's easy for me to forget um, the price that Jesus paid for my heart and for my life. Um, but this song serves as such a reminder of um, the Lord's mercy and His grace in my life um, that it abounds uh, more than I can even imagine. Um, the love of God truly can't be stopped and it has no bounds. As we respond and run to the Father, um, I pray that we would also uh, show mercy and grace to the people that we encounter each and every day. And I hope that as you take a listen to this song, um, that it brings you life and that it brings the text to life this week.